These things are usually very heavy. This right here, absolute featherweight. This is the video intro, so I need to keep this short, but I could do this much longer. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Base the World. My name is Gregor Fries and on base we have my buddy Frank It today. And this is the Lesvia Avalanche, the prettiest and most surprising base amp I've ever tried. This 300 watt all tube amp weighs only 10 and a half kilos, that's 23 pounds. If you've ever owned or just carried a tube amp in your life, you know that's only a fraction of what these usually weigh. Just for reference, this back here is an MPEG B25B, all tube with only 50 watts, that weighs 18 kilos. The SVT Classic from MPEG, which has 300 watts just as the Avalanche, weighs twice as much as mine, that's 36 kilos, 80 pounds. And it doesn't even look half as cool. So why is that? How can this be possibly so light? The answer lies in the no compromise concept Liz Weir is following. It's not that lightweight components for tube amps don't exist, it's just that they're very expensive. Everyone could use them, but not everyone is willing to pay for them. This is a very expensive amp, obviously. Les Weir's customers are the ones who want the best of the best and are willing to pay for this luxury. The power of the Avalanche comes from six KT88 tubes. These are popular for high-end hi-fi amps. My impression was always that they don't color the sound as much compared to 6L6s or EL34s, which are found in most bass amps. Lesvia also uses a switching power supply and a custom Lundal output transformer. That's why it's so incredibly light. Let's hear it with my Taranaki fretless bass. <laughs> And now let's have a look at the controls. We got a gain on the left and then a fob on the queue that you can even take out of your signal chain, even via foot switch. So you can use it like a second channel if you like. Above these four controls sit two faders to adjust the frequency range for the low and high mids and the EQ has its own volume control. Again, perfect if you want to use it as a second channel, possibly for a second bass. On the right we have a master volume, the standby and the power switch. The sound of this amp doesn't really require an EQ. It's not completely neutral, there's too much character for that, but no matter what bass you plug in, it matches beautifully. On the back we have two speaker outs, an impedance selector and the best DI out I've ever heard from a tube amp. Usually the signal is taken somewhere behind the preamp. Here you can decide if you want a direct sound pre-EQ or the whole thing, a DI taken after the power amp. The Avalanche is, as far as I can tell, completely noise free and it has some advanced safety features, like an auto bias for each individual power amp tube, power amp monitoring, speaker fail monitoring and a completely silent tube cooling system. This is the most advanced tube amp I've ever tried. It's stunning. In some ways it doesn't even behave like a typical tube amp, at least not like the ones we're used to. It's more like a high-end hi-fi tube amp. That's probably also why it got these absorbing rubber feet, which I've never seen on a bass amp before. And it's clean, crazy clean, this clean. <laughs> This video is about the Avalanche head, but since Les Vier sent it along with a 2x10 cabinet, let's have a quick look at this as well. It's just as light as the amp and just as beautiful in its matching color, which by the way is all custom. You can get the whole thing also in black or tweet and on request probably every look you can imagine. It's a 2x10 with a 1 inch high frequency driver with a total of 300 watts AES, which is similar to RMS at 4 ohms. Thank you. 
What a fantastic setup. Very expensive, but it doesn't feel like a money crap at all. The quality and innovation you get to experience here speak their own language. Alone the weight in combination with the 300 watts power tube amp might be worth it to some players. I'm stunned. I didn't even know something like this existed. Amazing. I'll link their website in the video description below. Les Rear Amps from Bavaria in the deep south of Germany. Great job. And that's it from me. Thanks for watching and bye. Facebook.